The champion of the best team season is going to be crowned today. We begin the fourth quarter of this football game and fittingly are tied at 10. Six minutes and 22 seconds away from the ultimate championship. Trzinski sends it and it's returned to the 20. Aikman and the Portland Snowhawks, a chance for the lead, but the offense has been cold since their opening drive. Ernest Givens can change that over the post to the 46 yard line. 34 yards on the strike from Troy Aikman. And he was certainly a downfield thrower. Ernest Givens with another catch. And that is immediate production from Ernest Givens. While Pepper Johnson's been good on defense, Givens has been unstoppable on offense. Aikman rolls out and gains a yard on the run with yet again Johnson in pursuit that time for Buffalo. Ernest Givens has just been downright insane this year at receiver. 27.9 yards per catch for Givens. They try Logan and that's incomplete. Shoot, in a game like this with the championship on the line, why not target Givens on every play? Over half of Troy Aikman's completions were to uh, Ernest Givens during the regular season. Logan, a check down again, and he moves the chains. They needed 10, it's a gain of 10. Great job from Logan to sneak right into the hole of that defense for the first down. About five minutes left in a tie ball game. Portland driving, they went three and out on their last series. Aikman off the play fake, Logan for the third straight target, has another first down and the gain of 13. Mark Logan not known too much as a receiving back for the Portland Snowhawks, third on the team in receptions at the fullback position, but he has been the go-to target for Aikman on this drive. And with under five left, they're driving until Pepper Johnson gets them for the fourth time. He's just been unblockable today. Johnson has been close to about six sacks but they give him four. Pegram, the intended target, on a deep ball to the left, and he's got it to the nine. It's incredible. Johnson gets him for the sack, but he's saying, shoot, this usually very reliable secondary has been the problem for most of these plays following a Johnson sack as they pick up the first down from the nine-yard line. And that throw to Givens is swatted away. It seems the only way that Givens won't make a catch on an Aikman target is if he doesn't get a chance. Aikman's throw batted away at the line of scrimmage. The red zone has been no problem for Aikman and the Portland Snowhawks today. Aikman off the play fake, plenty of room, but he throws to Givens for the touchdown. Ernest Givens today. Best Bowl MVP favorite with four minutes left. He has just been unguardable for the Snowhawk offense today, his second touchdown of the ball game. As we look at the replay, Givens was wide open. And I gotta say, if you're the Buffalo defense, the best defense in the league, you gotta figure out a way to double them because one guy has clearly not been enough. 17-10 with about three and a half minutes left. The return from Verdon from about the 12, and he won't get very far as he is swarmed at the 20. 80 yards away from tying the game. Testaverde, who's had a tough night, fires downfield to Brian Blades. Great coverage, and that throw is incomplete. That time, Washington was there on the coverage for Portland, the opposite cornerback. The Snowhawks were just ninth in pass defense during the regular season. Bo Jackson on the call, motors to the 23-yard line for a three-yard gain, and Testaverde's gonna have a lot on his shoulders on this third down, and they actually only gave him a yard, so it's third and nine, not third and seven. He fires over the middle, and Hurst has got the first down to the 41. 18 yards and a huge third down conversion. Garrison Hurst on a wheel route with first down yardage for Buffalo. And it seems while Testaverde has struggled, these receivers, especially Garrison Hurst, has done a lot to help him out after the catch. Testaverde stands in, launches the blades, and that's incomplete. Testaverde, this absolutely could be a drive that not only gives them some confidence later in the game, 
but also could help shake off the narrative of Testaverde being the reason they're down with his tough night. Jackson on the pitch play, crosses midfield, and he moves the chains by inches. Jackson with just enough on the toss for the Buffalo first down. Bo Jackson with 23 rushing touchdowns and nearly 2,000 yards rushing was one of the best backs in the league this year. They'll feed it to him again, and he cuts it back for a yard. Portland was all over at that time. Most likely, despite all of their timeouts, this might be their final chance down seven late in the game. Testaverde shovels the pass to Hurst over the middle, and he is swarmed to the 42-yard line for the gain of six. Nick Christ on hand, the best bowl fittingly comes down to the bitter end. Buffalo either scores a touchdown here and they'll burn another timeout or the game is over. Testaverde unloads over the middle into coverage and that pass is incomplete to Metzelars. And that'll bring up a critical short yardage situation for the offense down seven late in the game. Buffalo has not scored since early in the third quarter. Testaverde off the play fake hit as he throws the blades and that is picked off by Dave Waymer with 1.27 to go. A horrible pass from Testaverde. And while the game isn't technically over yet, Portland is starting to celebrate on the field as they've got the ball and the lead late. An absolutely crushing interception from Vinny Testaverde. First and 10, Portland with the lead and the football. They're gonna throw it. What are they doing up by seven? And that pass is picked off. What in the world? They had the game basically won. All they would have needed is to cover a punt return in order to win the best ball. Instead, Rod Woodson with his second pick of the day uh, sets up Portland or Buffalo with great field position. Texas route, Hurst, one to beat at the 15, and he is pulled down to the 12. A 21-yard catch and run with under a minute left in the regulation of the best ball. Really just a, a crushing interception from Rod Woodson. It's uh, the place where Buffalo has struggled. They've got to do it or the game is absolutely over. Jackson on the run on the left side of the seven. And the clock continues to run with Buffalo down seven. Plenty of playmakers on the offensive end. Who's going to step up here at second and goal? Testaverde off the play fake. Looks under duress. Throws the Metzelars. Touchdown. Buffalo Stampede. Rod Woodson saved the day, and Pete Metzelars gives them another day as they live on in this best bowl, a game they had no chance in late in the fourth quarter. No business for them to be in a PAT position to tie, but that is the case. They will not mess around and go for two, especially because Tecmo doesn't let you do that. So we are tied at 17. Stojanovic drives this one deep with 19 seconds left. Clock stopped here in regulation. So can Aikman pull off a miracle? And they've got all their timeouts to do it. Aikman with 10 seconds, eight seconds. Harper catches and he will not score. No chance for a timeout. And we're going to a unusual overtime of the best ball. So here we go, a coin toss. Not too often these playoffs or any playoffs in the history of the PR52 Tecmo best ball series has gone to overtime. This is a rarity. And for the ultimate championship, this has got to feel pretty good for both teams. We've got a brand new ball game. Portland goes squib kick. What are they doing? Return from two, the up man to the 30. So they're going to try a field goal right away. I don't know what they're thinking, and it's no good from Pete Stoyanovich. That absolutely was a great decision on the hands of Portland. It gave them a chance to set up their offense here. Al Toon with a great return, but Buffalo blew it on the decision to settle for the field goal. Second play of overtime, Eric Pegram off the left tackle is nailed at the 38-yard line. A short carry for Pegram untimed overtime here from the best bowl. It's third and short. They'll give it to Logan this time. Aikman has to be pretty frustrated as they bring out the chain gang and he is short. Aikman have been so good to close regulation. The fact they run the ball like that three straight plays is a bit perplexing. 
And on fourth and inches, they're not going to mess around. They'll bring out the punt team. And Ron Stark, he launches this one. An excellent punt. That is through the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo gets another crack at it. Their second drive on offense of overtime. Tesla Verde on the bootleg, fires the blades, and he is wrapped up with a 44-yard line. A first down pickup of 19 to Brian Blades. Buffalo got back in the game courtesy of a huge Rod Woodson interception. Some perplexing late game decision making from Portland to throw the ball led to the interception. And Garrison Hurst on the shovel pass is spilled the 44 yard line, a one yard gain. But that set up the game tying touchdown from Testaverde to Metzelars. And now the offense here in overtime, sudden death, a touchdown would absolutely win it. Even entering field goal range would be good for Stojanovic. Blades on the deep pass. A bit underthrown, incomplete from Testaverde. Nick Rice on hand, overtime out of Allegiant Stadium in Vegas. The best ball down to this as Testaverde missed Brian Blades downfield. He still has a chance to be the hero here in the best ball on third down and 10. He's going to throw it. Blitz is coming. Testaverde looks. Hit as he throws on a deep ball to Toon. He dives and he's got it. And Al Toon, who set him up with field goal range earlier in overtime with an even bigger play to set him up in the red zone later in overtime, and a field goal would win it. Despite the great night from Ernest Givens and Pepper Johnson, the hero late in this one has been receiver Al Toon. And with that, the field goal unit is in. Stojanovic blew his first overtime try. This kick is long enough, and Stojanovic wins the best bowl. Buffalo stampede on the make from Stojanovic. Winners in overtime. 20 to 17. Aikman and Testaverde both threw for over 200 yards. Harper was Portland's premier receiver with four grabs for 124 yards. Bo Jackson with 15 carries for 121 yards on the ground. The player of the game, Ernest Givens. I know it's a losing team, but Givens impressed me. Pepper Johnson did too. Rod Woodson can give it to him with two MV or two big interceptions. In fact, News is just coming in. He is indeed Rod Woodson, the MVP of the Tecmo Best Bowl in an incredible game that went to overtime by the Buffalo Stampede or winners. Vinny Testaverde and Ty Detmer were the quarterbacks for this incredible football team. Bo Jackson, Garrison Hurst, Kenneth Davis, and Warren Williams at running back. The star receivers, Brian Blades, Russell Copeland, and Clarence Verdon join Al Toon the hero late in regulation and in overtime. Pete Metzlars and Scott Galbraith at tight end. Let's check out the line. Tony Mandridge, Bart Oates, Ray Donaldson up front. And on the outside, the tackles Doug Smith and Steve Edwards. And to close out, the best bowl championship roster, Pete Stojanovic and Dan Struzinski are the special teamers. And on defense, M.D. Perry, Mark Wheeler, Burt Grossman up front of the D-line. Linebackers, Eric Hill, Mike Kroll, Pepper Johnson, and Tracy Simmons. And then defensively, Brett Maxey, Bubba McDowell, and Joey Browner joined the best bowl MVP, Rod Woodson. Season two is complete. For all the great contributors joining PR52 in best bowl and best season two coverage, I am Nick Rice for the championship game. Until next time, so long from PR52 and the rest of us, we enjoyed bringing you this series, and we thank you so much for watching tonight's championship game. Good night.